Hello and welcome. In this lesson, we're going to explore a very useful animation trick in After Effects. How to make one object automatically follow another. A perfect example of this is the pupils of the eyes following a moving target. The best part is that this happens automatically, so you don't need to add or adjust keyframes every time the target changes its path. We'll use a simple smiley face as our example. In the composition, I've already created a quick smiley using shape layers. A circle for the face, two eyes, and a mouth. The pupils are on separate layers, and we'll animate their movement. First, let's create the target that our pupils will follow. Select the Ellipse tool, hold Shift, and draw a circle. Add a fill color. This will be our moving target. Name it Ball. Next, let's animate the target's path using a mask. This method is very reliable. Select the Ball layer. With the Ellipse tool active, draw a circular mask on this layer. If the mask darkens the layer, don't worry, we're only using it as a path source. Open the layers Mask 1, Mask Path, select Mask Path, press Command plus C for Mac, Control plus C for Windows to copy, then open the position property of the target and press Command or Control plus V to paste. Now that we've copied the path, we don't need the mask anymore. You can simply delete it. To position our target object and its path correctly, let's use a temporary null object. Right click in the timeline, choose New, Null object. Now parent our moving ball to this null. By moving the null, we can easily adjust both the object and its motion path around the smiley face. Great, the target now follows the circular mask path automatically. Once everything looks good, don't forget to delete the null. We only needed it as a helper. Now it's time to animate the pupils so they follow the moving target. We'll use the rotation property for this. Select a pupil layer, press R to open rotation, then hold Alt on Windows or Option on Mac, and click the stopwatch to enable expressions. Paste the expression. You can find the full code in the pinned comment below this video. Let's quickly break down the expression. In the first line, we define the target. Make sure to replace the layer name with the actual name of your moving object. Now let's repeat the process for the second pupil. Open the rotation property, add the same expression, and make sure to update the layer name of the target inside the code. Now let's preview the result by pressing the spacebar. Hmm, the pupil doesn't follow the target yet. Why? Here's the key detail. For the rotation to work, we need to adjust the anchor point of the pupil. Use the Pan Behind tool to move the anchor point out of the center of the pupil. If the anchor point is right in the middle, rotation happens around the center and you won't see any movement. After setting the anchor point correctly, move the pupil itself into its starting position, the spot that corresponds to where the target begins. That way, the eyes immediately look in the right direction from the first frame. Do the same steps for the other eye, so both pupils are following the target. Once 
Once we shift it, the pupil will correctly follow the target. And that's it. You now have eyes that automatically follow a moving object in After Effects. No manual keyframing required. We can also make the target's movement feel more dynamic. Select the position keyframes. Press F9 to apply Easy Ease, then open the graph editor and slightly adjust the curve. Notice how the motion becomes smoother and more natural. And here's the best part. Even after we change the speed of the path, the pupils continue to follow the target automatically without any extra work. One more tip. Sometimes the pupil might move too far and cross outside the eye shape. To fix this, you can create a track mat for each pupil. That way, the pupil stays neatly inside the eye, and the animation looks much more natural. And that's it! Now you know how to make eyes automatically follow a moving target in After Effects. If you'd like to practice with the exact project file and the original PNG assets I used in this lesson, you can find them on my Patreon. The link is in the channel info. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.